Welcome. Beautiful day. Beautiful. It's been actually a beautiful day. It really has. And uh, some wonderful things happening tomorrow. It's an exciting day for me tomorrow. I can't share what it is because these days you've got to keep your gob shut. It's ridiculous. But these uh, these things are, are here to sent to test us, I guess. But today we're going to talk about an amazing, amazing crystal. A lot of you have already had information from me about this particular crystal. Uh, a lot of you have sent me messages of how it's never off your neck. It's made a massive impact in your life. Well, you know what, guys? I've been a healer for so long, and when I was working on literally thousands of crystals, you're bound to be pulled to a certain crystal that helps in a certain way. And this crystal, although it's still very reasonable in price, and I'm sure in the next five years it won't be, but right now, um, it's becoming evident that people are going for this crystal. Why? Well, um, I'll just show you why over here. This is one lot of the crystals that I'm talking about. These are polished um, and they're very small and they've cost me uh, three times more than what they used to do two years ago, three years ago. When I first started buying it, it was extremely fantastic value. So they've gone sky high. They're going to be added with uh, other crystals. I'm just working on um, a very special one at the moment that I'm quite happy with and thrilled with, but I'm not gonna talk about that yet. I'm just gonna concentrate on this crystal. So let me introduce you to the crystal that has always been, not just by my best friend, but one of the major players in my crystal healing years that I worked as a healer all over the world. So there you have it. Not the most prettiest of crystals, I grant you. Um, I think most of my favorite crystals, uh, apart from Cavansite, is a, a, a quite, uh, Really? Is that a crystal? And um, that's the, the quirkiness of Moldavite, uh, which isn't a crystal, but it is to me. Um, it's a, a meteorite, but so is this. So this beautiful thing is a meteorite. Uh, the value of this is, is hugely less than the value of Moldavite, but there is a completely different energy from Moldavite to Tectite, which I used to call Tactite. <laughs> Tectite is an incredible crystal. It's found, um, these predominantly are from, uh, I think Cambodia, Thailand. Uh, and I actually got a few more different ones from a few different areas. Uh, but what I'm looking at here I'm going to show it you. I'm just going to let you have a look at it. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. So that's what I've been working on. And uh, this is a collection of a collection. This is a, a real collection. So I'll show you the first ones. These are called bombs. Okay. These are great for healers. Now the two, I could mount them and they would be great to mount. But the ones that I like to mount are a little bit less than that. So, yeah, I mount them big. Granted, I'll mount them big, but normally when they're a longer shape. But these are called bombs. These are, if I said, absolutely incredible for healers to use. If you're doing cleansing work in houses, they're fantastic to work with. If there's a negative room and you feel it really negative, you just pick your bomb up, bomb up and put it straight into the center of the room. Just leave it there and start doing the cleansing work. When you finish, picked it up, put it in your pocket, move it to another room and so on. When you're working with people who are, let's say, unbalanced, when their spiritual uh, energies are off and they are on a different level, they're, they're, you know, it could be psychic attacks, it could be a spiritual um, takeovers, what, whatever it is, it could be 
I don't know. Anything crazy. This is one of the crystals I always had to hand. Always. Now, um, I'm going to show you something special here. So this is what's called a dog bone or a dumbbell. Okay, dumbbell, right? And this is how Tektai is basically thrown across Mother Earth. And it spins like this. So what you're looking at here, take a sip for instance, let's have a look at this. What you're looking at here is a teardrop. Now the teardrop is actually one of these, but it's broken as you can see. See, it's broken there. Lesson in tectites. So when you get them complete, they're worth a lot of money. And why are they worth a lot of money? Because people who buy them, not as a healing tool, well, I actually do. I buy them as a healing tool and I like to know that that's a beautiful, perfect piece and that it flew across the air and landed and, and it's all original. Then, I'll just go on to this. Then you have what's called, I don't know if you can see that, they call this the swan neck. And I haven't had any for ages. And just recently, I got some swan necks. So aren't they gorgeous? Great to work with. Great to cleanse and clear uh, energy from the mind. So you can use it dual. I used to use one dually. So you can rub five minutes on your client or if you've got a partner that you love, just gently rub it there for five minutes. You'll be surprised. If there's an issue, and some people call it an overactive uh, third eye because they, they can't like sleep or they're all over the place. Again, you take the bot, this section here, the like the bottleneck there, and then you hold it here and you just do that with the, the tip and just gently rub. Wow, you can feel it already. <laughs> and basically what these crystals do is they're the only crystal that I've ever worked with that absorb every kind of energetic field, which is low, any negative energy. So a lot of speakers that I used to read for and heal, a lot of people who are in the public domain, a lot of famous people, you'll see them. Uh, I used to read for a lot of people from uh, New York, LA, and they had intensive jobs. And I always, they always said, what crystal? And I said, look, the best crystal is Tektai if you want to clear negative energy from your life. So I fell in love with it so much that it became one of three crystals that I basically work with full time now. And the predominant crystal on the, the crystals that I, I don't have any left because they sell so quickly are their trios. And you've always got the beautiful tectite and then a little piece of Moldavite, genuine Moldavite, and then a Herkima diamond. But on its own as a healer, on its own as a, a beautiful crystal that, you know, some people have them um, like spheres and they're, they're made of plastic and they squeeze them. Well, let me tell you, Chuck that away and hold this on a night. Whatever you're doing, whether you're meditating would be better because as you meditate, your body clears negative energy. But if you're just sat in silence or you're listening to music, whatever, not when you're watching telly because you're just fueling energy there. Just hold it. Also put it in your pocket. These are unmountable for me. These are meant to be put in your pocket. They're meant to be held. They're meant to be put in your bag. They're meant to be by your bedside. Because a piece of, like say, a bomb, if I've got this and I'm struggling to sleep, all I need to do is just rub it there for five or 10 minutes on the sides of my temples and then hold it in my hand or place it on my heart or my stomach and just leave it there. Sometimes you fall asleep with it balanced on you. The bombs are great for just holding on to. If you're having any issue with anybody around you, um, like 
I might have a, a group of 20 people who came for a talk and we might be talking about uh, the problems of giving too much and, and, and why we should be careful and, or, a, or a talk on grief. I'd always have a bomb in my pocket and I'd be feeling the energy in the room and if I see somebody starting to release, I quickly ask somebody to pass that along to them just to hold it. And you can see within a space of a few minutes that the energy around their body, what they're creating, whether it's from their mind with fear, whether it's from their heart of grief, whether it's from the stomach of attack, you can feel the energy being absorbed into the tectite. So you can see it literally moving to the tectite. Now, if you've never seen any of my videos before, I often say that the reason why I realized tectite was such a unique crystal was because I was working on a client. And when I'd finished the healing work on the client, this was years ago, Normally I picked my crystals up after working with them on the client, but this time for some reason I didn't and left it on the client. And what I noticed was the grief that was being released, released, the pain, the suffering. It, it's not just going into the, the atmosphere. It was going into the, the tech time. And I'm like, what's going on there? And as I'm looking at it, I'm blinking, trying to understand. And then it clicked. It's a vacuum cleaner for negative energy. It absorbs negative energy. A lot of people have been asking me, um, how do you cleanse and clear these crystals? I believe it's the only crystal that doesn't need to be cleansed or cleared. I believe it's a self-cleansing and a self-clearing. And its job, its energy, is to simply absorb and dispel negative energy. So it's not necessary that you need to charge this crystal up, even though I do, and I work on charging them in different ways. The crystal itself, if you find a piece in a local store, it will just do the job. Wear it round your neck. And the best place for this crystal, by far, is lower down. If you can uh, put it in your pocket, brilliant. Um, if you are wearing a piece like this, then get it down minimum solar plexa to your belly button. Round here is perfect. And that way through the day, when most of the, the, the suffering hits us, it goes into the belly. That's called the emotional brain. So the best crystal to clear the emotional brain is the tectite in my world of healing. Now, there's thousands of healers out there and they'll tell you different, but my understanding and my love of these divine crystals, these incredibly beautiful crystals, whether they are super huge, whether they are just beautiful in the shape of the swan neck, whether they are rare and beautiful dumbbells, whether they are the teardrops, they all work in their unique way. Whether they're a little, a bit tatty and scruffy and not as nat, they still work perfect. Whether they are little tiny ones and they've got like uh, a beautiful shine to them like them, they still all work equally in the same way. So that's my understanding on these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful crystals. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> yeah, love working with them. Absolutely love it. So now I'm going to uh, put this collection, this very beautiful collection, up on markbyersky.com. I hope you love them. Um, I hope you love working with them. And um, I still have a few left which are mounted like this. I have a nice collection coming in next week, uh, hopefully, uh, from Bali. And uh, yeah, I just hope you love them as much as I love working with them. A lot of people have been asking me about the, um, the trios. So you know how... Moldavite's become so expensive, it's a challenge for me to get Moldavite at a fair price. So I've kind of slowed back and down with Moldavite. 
I buy a little bit every now and again, but it's just too expensive for me now. But I have some pieces coming which I've had made and there's going to be, I don't know, 30, 40 pieces. So they will be on the website in the next coming week. And I know you love your trios, so bear with us. They're coming soon. But until then, get yourself a nice piece. Get yourself down to your local crystal store and say, hey guys, have you got a nice piece of Tektite? And keep it with you. This is a perfect time, perfect time right now, because this crystal is fantastic. It really is. I mean, I have been up against people who have been, you know, like messed up because they're ill and sick. They're not feeling well because they may have done something that they wish they hadn't have done through this madness. And their energetic field is all over the place. You'll find that if you're wearing it or holding a tektite, you'll find you'll feel a lot more balanced. Not 100% with what's going on at the moment, but I'd say at least 50, 60% better. And you can cope with the situation a lot more than if you haven't got a tektite with you. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as you can tell, I am a, a huge fan of tektite, huge fan. And I love it because I have seen the miracles and the, the amazing energy that this crystal has. It's unique, it's no other crystal does what this crystal does. And as far as I'm concerned, it is the only thing that it actually really truly does. And that is absorb negative energy. What could be more perfect right now? Get yourself out there and buy a piece. You just see, fantastic. Thank you for going to markbayeski.com and buying your authentic, genuine tech tights. And I hope you love them as much as I loved working with them. Take care. Till tomorrow.